Right, explorers. You asked for it. I said I'd do it. You asked for me to come back. You requested it. I said I'd do it. And we're here. We're going in. Welcome back explorers. This mansion was built in the 1870s for a copper mining family. This mansion was last used as a private home in 1929. After that it became a spa and a health centre. The spa remained until the outbreak of World War II, at which point it got taken over and used as a hospital. Post-war, the hall became a girls' school, but after extensive fire damage in 1975, the school was forced to close. This mansion was known as the Calendar House as it had 365 rooms. It now is also one of the top 10 Victorian and Edwardian buildings at risk. This mansion has walled gardens of 18 acres, which themselves sit in around 5,000 acres of land. Right, explorers, welcome back. Um, today, as promised, we're back here. If you remember one of the early videos I did, I came to this location before, and I said if it got 200 likes, I'd come back and do a better video, because it wasn't the best. But we got past got past um, 200 likes we've got well past that and quite a few people commented saying how bad the video was which I appreciate it was an early one though um, so I'm here now I've come back but there's a van here and um, so there is security I was lucky last time there wasn't there had been security here last time but there wasn't here on the day so there's security here now so I'm just gonna film this because I've come back if we can't get in then at least you know I've tried um, but I'm gonna I might be able to knock the door <laughs> I might be quite bold knock the door look at the size of this place things have changed though since last time last time I came that bar boy wasn't on the top but it, it doesn't it doesn't go on that bit there so that's almost pointless um, this panel here was open which they've actually put some sort of tar on as well um, so they've put that panel in and put some tar on it or something now as you can see there's a van as well which obviously says that security are here um, but the one thing that I've noticed if you look at this they've put a washing line up let's just get you to it if you look at this washing line, look. Look how many pegs are on that. There's a lot of pegs on there. So that suggests that there's not one one person living here on his own. So this one could be quite dodgy. Right guys, um, we've decided we're gonna go in. We've been out here for a while, been out here for 20 minutes, no one's approached us. Um, I've done a bit of drone footage so I've got some drone footage of it now but 
this one is a bit dodgy to be honest but we're going to go in we're going to go around the back and we're going to I'm gonna go, just going to go and knock the door I think I'm literally going to be that bold because I kind of think well if they're in there what's to say that they won't let us look around um, and I'd rather them know we're here than us startle them as much as they start us and then you know have a bit of a standoff so I think um, I'm going to go and knock the door right so we've decided we're going to uh, attempt it but we've had to park quite a bit away so we've actually parked the same place as we did last time we came um, but this time I walked that down that street or down that road last time whereas this time we're taking more of a direct route this is an original pathway to it so we're gonna because then the car and everything's away from it it's a bit better so we've parked up and we're gonna we're gonna walk in now but I'm really apprehensive about this one because you know where do you draw the line I'm not feeling this one at the minute just not this guys look how beautiful this would have been it's a lot bigger than it looks on camera as well those cameras there and there's a dome camera there like one of the ball ones so we can't avoid that one but I think I'm going to go and knock the door anyway um, because I'm not going inside if people are in there because that's just really dodgy so I'm going to literally knock the door see if the I don't know what to expect to be honest but see if uh, that let us in. Right guys, look at that. That there, if you stuck off the building, that steel work coming out the building there would have been this look. That would have been like a, a fire escape um, of some sort and it looks like they've taken it down but there's not just that been taken down. There's a lot more missing from here. I think, they're, I think they're stripping this for scrap because look they've dug the footing out and they've cut it off so they've literally took as much as they can and that's heavy stuff those girders um, but it's not all here so I think they're filling the van with scrap which if they're filling the van with scrap you know who's here what they're doing and they're robbing the place or this, this is dodgy.
They're stripping this for scrap, man. Right, guys, this is what I mentioned when we was the other side of the gate. Look at all this. Look at all the pegs on the washing line. It's probably 300. You don't have that many pegs when you're on your own. You know, how much washing are you going to make when you're security here? Not that much. Um, let's just have a look. Right. I don't like this. There's, this is not me being scared, but analysing this. Thing, things aren't right. And I'll tell you why. I remember this really well from the last time we came. And those windows there have all been broke and smashed and they're taped back together. That window up there has been smashed. Those shutters have been shut. That is new. Those shutters have been shut. The windows in the centre have been smashed. They wasn't smashed. That door up there has been opened in between the clock and the underneath the clock. Um, so what sort of people are here? Right, I've been looking for signs of any dogs, you know, like um, dog food bags or bowls or anything like that. And I've found nothing as of yet to say there's dogs on site. There's, there's a board on there to say there's dogs here, but I've just found this. That's a dog's ball. That is a dog's ball. So that is not good. There's a guy in the window. Alright buddy! Just drop the window on this side. Alright mate! Please go! Can we, can we look inside? No, please go! You want us to go? Go! Can we go out the back way then? We definitely not... Can we look around the outside? No, no! Please go! Okay, we'll go out the back way. Right guys, so he's seen us. Um, as I mentioned, the guy looked out of that window um, and told us to go. To be fair, we'll respect his wishes um, and we'll leave. But if you watch, if you, you know, looking at the video, that was the window. That was the the main window which had a broken panel in it, which I touched on. So we're better off just leaving, I think. Right, run away out now. Uh, the guys told us to go, so we're leaving. It's uh, such a shame. Did you notice how the main window we came to was the one with the broken panel I mentioned? I think, I think he's so adamant he doesn't want us to look around and photo and that because I think them them doing the inside there bad. Stripping it, stripping it of all the scrap, ain't they? All right, guys, we're leaving now. Um, I don't know how much of that you saw. I don't know how much I'm going to edit out. But you know, the guy, he didn't want to see her. Um, so we're leaving. He's watching me now. He's just in. I don't know if you can see there. Look, he's just looking through the glass there. There's a blue shirt, and in the middle of the two trees. Um, he's, he's. I think he's seeing me now. But he's. Um, he doesn't want to see it, so we're basically we're leaving now. Um, I'm so gutted, but whatever it is, he doesn't want us going inside, so I'm disappointed. Hear that? Hear that creek then? I think that must have been lifting a window on it. Yeah. Come out, he's been watching us all the way out as far as you can see us. Um, he even like forced another window up. Um, but we've come out now, we're walking back the way we came. We've left them to it. I'm adamant there's a fair few in there. With those pegs and stuff, there's quite a lot in there. But we've come across this, which is quite cool. 
Now this property has all tunnels and that underneath. Now this here, that stairs there. That's actual proper concrete stairs going down into a tunnel. And that's all bricked and proper. So that's properly made that is. So that's a tunnel. So I bet you that branches round and I bet that goes all the way to the property. It's quite far out here, but why else would it where else could it go? It's just open land. So that I guarantee is going under the uh, the property itself. Which is phenomenal. Look, look at that distance. You're talking that's probably 550, 600 meters. That's a long tunnel. Look at the work that would have gone into this. Phenomenal.